Hey guys, Rhyme and Craft Scissors here with a haul video from PG Cheap and um, they also do Planner PG Cheap. So they have two. There's pgcheap.com and then there's pgplannerdeals.com and they're a daily deal site. So stuff goes up for a day and that's it. Um, sometimes it doesn't even last the entire day because the stuff is so good that it sells out so fast. So you need to make sure that you snag it if you love it. Um, these two are featuring from PG Jeep, um, Rosa BB graphics. That's who, um, design this stuff and then they implement it. So it's like the graphics are from there. So if it does look familiar, um, I think I've seen similar designs in some planner society kits like a while ago. So I'm going to open up both. It looks like they're a little similar because I see like this llama patch. And I think it's over there too. So I think I ended up with two of those. But they're kind of different. This one's succulents. That one has globes. So we're going to open this one first. And I'm going to do projects. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do two unboxings. Like unbox this one, make something with it. And then unbox the other one and make something with it in two separate videos. I think I might do that. I hope they're okay with that. But that's the way that time-wise I could see it for a video. So it looks like here's some die cuts. I can open these. But um, PG Cheap just sent me a message on Instagram. It was like, hey, would you be willing to do an unboxing? And I said, of course. That's right up my alley. So here's the die cuts on cardstock. There's some flowers. There's some girls with flowers on their heads. Those are pretty. And then there's a chair and a rug and a pillow. Then there's Believe You Can. There's lots in here. Ooh, a nice guitar. See, I also thought about, we're either going to make um, a new cover for my Happy Planner or we're going to make cards because I have a lot of birthdays coming up. My dad's birthday, my mom's birthday, my brother-in-law's birthday. So I do need to make cards. But I'm trying to see if like I can do that with like these because if they're super girly, then obviously I can't really make man cards. Think Happy Things. See, I feel like that's not too girly, and that's not too girly. The guitar kind of is, but my dad it does play the guitar. There's Wild and Free. There's like a hanging of dried flowers. There's the planner. See, that would be cute for my planner cover. There's a brunette. So there's a brunette blonde. And dark hair. There we go. And then... There's, it looks like there's girls for each one standing there with their purses and skirts. Like a little tapestry. There's a cup and it says no bad days. That's cute. There's a little, I forget what those are called. I can't think of it. Trailer RV thing? Camper. There we go. <laughs> a little jacket. Another camper. The other girl. So we have all three. And then there's a little board. I have one of these. I need like four of them. I love them so much. And then there's, oop, just pop that away. Succulent and a little like open planner, traveler's notebook with some dried flowers in it and a photo. And then there's a shoe. There's a shoe. <laughs> That's so cute. And then I'm wondering if this patch is sticky already or not. That's what I've had before. Yeah, it's a sticker. So one of these needs to end up on the front of my Happy Planner because that's where I put my sticker patches from the Planner Society. So I want all my sticker patches to go there. And then there's a sheet of deco stickers. Just one, but it's really thick stickers. There's more succulents on here, some of which are similar to the die cuts. But there is one that I didn't see die cuts of is the pin. And those are really cute. And then there's the wild and free. And then there's the mug, no bad days. There's some similarities. So let's look at our papers that we've got to work with. So there's this like bluish, tealish rose flowers. And then the back, oh, it has the giant mug with no bad days. See, you could actually cut around these and then have giant die cuts. Yeah, possibilities there. All right, and then we've got the llama and some flowers. And then on the back, it has like the diamonds. Okay, so I think there might be two of those. Is there two of all of them? There's two of that one. And then there's one of this one. See, once again, you could cut out these big images as die cuts. And there's some floral, so there's two of this one. Okay. 
And then there's another No Bad Days one. Okay, so that's that one. That was the first one I looked at. I want to organize so that I know what I'm working with. Okay, and then here's a nice floral that's kind of like the blue but more of a pink and purple. And then it has the giant succulents on the back. So you have two of those. And then you have a dark background with purplish pink floral and the succulents with a green background. So some stuff is similar, just different background colors. It looks like they pulled the blue from here and made it a background and then they pulled the green from here and put it as a background. That's what it kind of looks like. And then the pink looks like this pink. That's interesting. Okay. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Cause the other one is like traveling kind of theme and like washi tape and exploring. So I think my best bet is to do birthday cards. I think with this one, because it says like think happy things like happy birthday. I think that would be good. And then I pulled out my um, value pack cards from Michaels and I pulled out a punch and I pulled out my paper trimmer. I'll try to get at least one card done in this video, I think. Especially like my mom's birthday, that should be pretty easy to do in this video. So I'm gonna use my Cricut scraper and fold this over. So it gives it a nice fold line for measuring and such. Okay, so for my background, I want something fairly busy. And I know she likes pinks and purples, so I think I'm gonna go with that. Where is that? The pink and purpley flower there it is it's this one i think i'm gonna go with that one for back here just to completely cover the front i need my pencil old target dollar spot pencil take my line right there be bold and then do it this way take my line. i had to make it pretty bold because it was in kind of a dark spot I don't know if I lost it or not. Maybe down there somewhere. It's right there, I think. <laughs> kind of a dark spot to do that in. All right, and then I have my Fiskars paper trimmer to trim this on. I don't know how far I can reach that. Over. Okay, where was my line? <laughs> right there, okay. I was like, um, how am I gonna find this again? <laughs> Here we go. You might be able to make more than one card. Because I can cut this twice. That would be way more efficient. Okay, that's my line. There was a line right here, and I was like, I wouldn't have drawn one that crooked. <laughs> right? I'd hope not. But then again, it's been a long week, so who knows? So I'm going to go ahead and cut two of these. So I can background another card at the same time. Because why not? So I might be making two cards. That's cute. Because I figured might as well. It's already cutting. Oh, my glue runner. I think my gun is somewhere else. I didn't call you this one. I hope I have enough on there. Oh man. I might be using sticker tabby things. Some of this. I said I was just trying to get one card done, so shouldn't be too bad. This is a glue runner from Elmer's Glue. I found mine at Walmart. In case you're looking for that. I'm gonna line that up so it's not crooked. That's my card base. And then it looks like the background is those little things. Those are cute. And then I think I wanna put Oh, I'm not putting. I'm gonna look at the die cuts first. Well, no, because I think I want to put more pattern paper on there. I haven't decided which one I'm flipping. Maybe the dark one. But then I feel like I'm not gonna get very much out of it because it's not super patterned. It's bigger. I kind of like the darker one. Unless I like 
this one, but the pattern is so big on it. That's when I'm like, no. <laughs> as far as that goes. But see, it's the spacing of the pattern that you have to look at. So I think I'm just going to jump right into die cuts to decorate it with because the patterns are, are kind of large for my craft project. So I think I like the Think Happy Things. And then my mom is more of a brunette and those flowers really match this, that's for sure. I'm not sure she would think funny things, think happy things about a llama. I'm not sure. Um, trying to decide how I want it to look. Maybe I do want this on here. What if I cut just part of it? Or even just a strip of the teal part? I don't care how straight it is. You haven't been able to tell that yet. I just want the teal. I'm gonna make this into a flag. That there, yeah, I like it. I also have a sticker, a Zyron sticker maker that I feel like would have been good for this too. I need to find my refill for my glue runner. I have an ATG, but it's just so big. Like I don't want to use that right now. Okay, so if I put something bigger across this, this one was the bigger camper, and then think happy things. And then she's like thinking the happy things. I think that's pretty cute. I don't want, I don't think I want the dress. Maybe like that. Do we like the camper or should we just put the girl there? I think I like the camper. I like the guitar, but the guitar is, my mom's not a guitar person. Maybe just like that. Keep trying to decide. I'm going to show you what I meant by sticker dots. I meant these things, which my son likes to play with. But I like this here. Just trying to decide on the other parts. Oh, there is Wild and Free. That one's cute too. Or should I do a full girl? There's the one that's. My mom's not blonde. I like the full girl. That's there's not enough room for her, but I could do her right here. Cactus and think happy things. No. That looks cute too though. I like this over here though. And I kinda like this sitting next to it, like the desk is over here. Then it's like she's thinking about traveling. I feel like it's just die cuts together and I wanted to layer them more kind of thing. I think that's what I want to do. I think, I think, I think. Okay, I'm going to put some sticky dots on the back of here and we'll kind of play with it still, but then I at least have them stickered for my sake. These are cool. They have little tabs on them so you can peel the sticky off. It turns them into little stickers for you. I put two on the camper, kind of big. I can always add in extra stickers or something. I think I like the camper over here. Maybe I need to go up higher with it. There. And then I like her with it because I feel like she's thinking the happy things. And then I like the cactus. I'm going to put her down here, like a little bit closer to the edge. We'll put this one next to it, or like underneath her. And then we'll take this one off. See how easy these things are? I love the little tabs. I tilt the plant. 
It's like thinking happy things. Then there's like other plants I could put down. I think it looks cute like that. I do like these. Maybe there's too much. Okay. I think that's how that one's gonna look. I like it. And then I think I'm gonna put one of the llamas on the front of my mini happy planner. I can show you guys that. Real quick, I think I will go ahead and unbox the other one in its own video. So sorry, you got a sneak peek. How cute would that little guy look right there? I know. I'm just gonna put her there. So cute. Okay. So that's what I usually do with my patches, is I stick them on my happy planner, mini happy planner cases. And that's the first one on my mini happy planner. Yay! Okay, so I hope you guys like this little haul video slash making stuff with it. Um, and I hope you guys tune in for the next one. I'm not sure when that one will be, but at least you guys kind of got to see a glimpse of it um, as far as that goes. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like and please subscribe. I will put the PG Cheap Planner Deals and PGCheap.com um, down in the description box below so you can check them out and see what deals you can snag each day. You can sign up for their email so that you don't miss any of their daily deals and you can follow them on Instagram and Facebook. So, and I do both, which is kind of addicting, but there you go. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. Bye.